Hi, I'm Brian Davis, Construction Solutions Manager here at Tormont Cat. Today we're going to talk about e-fence. This is a standard feature that comes in all of our non-GC excavators from 313 to 395. There are a number of different programmable fences that can be put into the machine. There's e-fence ceiling, e-fence floor, e-fence wall, cab avoidance, left swing, and right swing. And all of them can be programmed separately. If you're looking at working underneath hydro wires or inside of a building, you may want to set a height limit so you can set e-fence ceiling. And then when you boom up, you will not go through that limit. The boom will automatically stop so you will not contact the wires or the ceiling. All of the other fences work very similarly. Cab avoidance is one that you can put on so that the bucket will not come into contact with the cab. Very helpful, especially when training younger operators without much experience. If you'd like to set a, a swing fence, let's say you're lit working beside a live lane of traffic and you don't want to swing out into that traffic, for safety reasons, you can set a swing parameter. When you swing the machine and it hits that parameter, the machine will automatically stop, not allowing you to swing out into that live lane of traffic. So e-fence is a really great safety feature to help an operator work much more confidently in tight spaces, or in anywhere where they can't really see very well and they just need that little bit of assistance. So let's hop up in the cab and we'll show you how eFence works. So to get into the eFence application, you can again go in through two different ways. Through the main menu, you can press down here and go into eFence there, or you can use down here on the bottom, we have a, a quick reference button set up. So if you push that, and that takes you into your eFence, and it has all your different eFence settings. So within eFence, you can set a ceiling limit, you can set a floor limit, you can set a wall in front of you. You can also, if we toggle down here, you can set cab avoidance, and you can also set swing parameters to the left and to the right. So if you're working alongside, say, a live lane, and you don't want to swing out into traffic, you could set up a swing fence. So for this, uh, exercise we're going to demonstrate the e-fence wall and cab avoidance. So to turn on the e-fence wall what we're going to do is we're going to stick out to where our our point is where we don't want to go any further and we're going to activate it by pressing here and it will turn green. And it's now active so we're going to pull our stick in so that we don't hear the noise anymore. Now you can see here on the screen we have a wall that is activated so when we stick out the bucket will automatically stop. And once it gets to that point, we cannot push it any further. And that's as far as that bucket will go. Okay, so that's e-fence wall. Now, to deactivate it, we just press and hold here. And we just press this again and gray it out. And that will deactivate our e-fence wall. So now, if we want to turn on cab avoidance, and this is a great feature, especially when training younger operators that aren't maybe as experienced, we can turn that on. And now, when you bring the bucket in, you cannot touch the cab. So as we come close to the cab, you'll see that e-fence uh, cab avoidance is on here. We bring the bucket in, get it close to the cab. And there you go. That's as far in as we can go. The e-fence has stopped it cab avoidance is on. Again, boom out, stick out, and it'll shut the cab avoidance off, and then we can deactivate it as well. Press and hold here, and then deactivate it, make the gray box, and that's your e-fence. Caterpillar's excavators are equipped with a whole suite of onboard technologies that come standard from the factory. These technologies are geared towards making operators much more productive and putting a lot more money in your pocket. If you have any more questions about any of these technologies, please contact your local Tormont rep. Thank you.